In part 11 of Spring Security, we are going to continue to extend our project with a custom authentication class and multiple custom authentication providers classes. There is a lot of new code in this part, so let's quickly switch to Eclipse. First, we will briefly go over the classes we created in a previous section. My user is our custom user class which extends the user class. With some additional fields. First name. Last name. Full name. Email address. And birthday. Then we have my user details service. This class connects to the database with the method load user by username. Here we load the user and authorities from the database and convert them to my user. Now we go to the new class My Security Authentication. This class implements authentication. The My Security Authentication class has two states. Unauthenticated which is used from the My Security filter. And authenticated is used from the My Security Authentication provider. Furthermore, there are a series of methods that can be customized as desired. The first in a series of two authentication providers is the My Security Authentication Provider. This class implements the authentication provider and has two methods. We start at the bottom with the supports method. This method determines by which authentication class this provider will be used. In this case, this is our My Security Authentication class that we just discussed. Back up we have the Authentication method. In this method the users are loaded from the database. We use for this the User Details service and the Password Encoder. And it checks if the username and password are correct. Then we send the user as authenticated to the My Security Authenticated class. It is also checked if the username is test. If that is the case then we return null. This indicates to Spring Security that we are moving to the next authentication provider in the list. The next class is the test authentication provider. This is the second provider in the list and only looks if the username is similar to test, the password is not looked at. Again, we pass on my user as authenticated to the my security authenticated class. This provider is only meant as an example this is not code for a project in production as we do not consider a password. Anyone using the test user without a password can log into our project. Next up is the My Security filter. This filter is modified from the filter of the previous tutorial. First we have the constructor where the authentication manager of Spring Security is loaded. Next we have the do filter method. Here we look at the two headers, if they are not correct we move to the next filter in the filter chain. This code has not been changed. If the correct headers are present they are loaded into local variables. And passed as unauthenticated to the My Security Authenticated class. Then we use the authentication manager to go through the list of providers and see if any of the providers can approve the user. If all is well, we create a new security context holder and the login procedure is over. If something has gone wrong, then we give an error message, forbidden. We have now gone over all the new classes and can now go back to security configuration to bring everything together. First, we make a list of our authentication providers and pass it to the provider manager. We also pass an authentication event publisher to the provider manager. We do this to generate a success event or a failure event. Then all we have left is the add before filter where we submit our filter along with the provider manager to Spring Security. We have now gone over all the classes and can start our project for testing. The first test we do is in a browser. This is form login and does not use any of the authentication providers we just discussed. I just want to show you that this also still works fine. We'll start with the welcome page. Then we go to the admin page where we need to log and we do this with the admin account. 
At the bottom in the console of Eclipse you can see the log events of Spring Security and the filter chain. In the log events you can also see that we are now using the username password authentication token class. This is a class from Spring Security. If we log in with a wrong password we get a bad credentials event. We can now move on to Insomnia to test out the custom filters and providers. The second test is in Insomnia to test the custom classes. If we log in with the admin account and the correct password we get the expected result. In the console of Eclipse you can see the logging of the My Security Authentication Provider and the success event of my security authentication. If we give a wrong password then we get a logging from the my security authentication provider and from the test provider, but since neither provider can log in we get a bad credentials event. In Insomnia we get an invalid credentials response. Now if we want to log in with user test we get back the logging from the my security authentication provider and from the test provider, but this time with a success event and an insomnia the expected response. The next step in this sequence is to bring everything together nicely with the Spring Security Configurer. Thank you. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.